Jago. And base is kind of the same way. I mean, these guys have played thousands of times. Casuals, you know, they've done tournaments. Oh, yeah. We see here, getting our buttons all set up, ready to go here. It's going to be loser's finals action of our exhibition. We'll see the characters. Omen versus what character for base? He tried Spinal. He tried Cinder. Obviously, Cinder was the character that he switched to after he lost. So we'll have to see. Mira. Interesting choice. Okay, both of these characters have a really similar move, kind of like the Mist and the Shadow form. Yeah. They're kind of a move where they just their hurt box kind of disappears and they just teleport into another place. Okay, we're going with Gargos here. Interesting. And base is cool with it. He's like, all right, I'll play Mira Gargos. He thought about it. We didn't have to have a uh, blind pick scenario or anything. He's like, I'll let that rock. Ooh, the best stage in the game, best theme in the game, Thunder theme. This is my actual favorite theme in this game, for sure. And this is one of the most commonly played uh, tournament stages. Yeah, but it's a different theme. He's getting Orchid theme on this one, yeah. yeah. Which is great, by the way. So this is another one for Rico. This is just going to be like a game of traversal. Mira has like really, really, really oppressive Oki, and it's going to be just a matter of wanting to stay out of those spacings. Yeah, bats out early too. Great projectile, tough to deal with. Yeah, bats have such a scary presence on the screen, but the thing is that portal punch is instant and it tracks, and yeah. if Mira gets hit, the bats go away. So it's kind of like a pretty good trade-off in this matchup. Both of them kind of air superiority kind of characters. Nice oh, anti-air nice. there from Rico. Yeah, that is not easy to do. She is tough to keep out of the air, but just a heavy kick there. Ooh. Breaker on the lights. And a command grab right away. Another one after a little headbutt. Will he try to summon again? I like that he kind of backed off. He was a little bit more cautious about that summon in that situation. Whoa. I like that to beat the throw. That was a smart little choice, especially with the minion out. Ooh. Whiff on the sweep. Crouchy medium into the Psycho Crusher and Breaker right away. Yeah, and that minion only takes three hits before it's gone. Rico spending the bar to anti here with that Shadow Portal Punch there. Oh, using the triple jump. Get out of the way of the bats. They just hit right at the end. Uh-oh. Scary time now. Wall Splat Ender. Pretty good damage on that, actually, because the Instinct missed. Oh, this might be a scary Instinct pop here for Rico. Oh, my. Oh, I like that Absorbed the bats, yeah. The burst gets out of there immediately. Close first light bar here. Yeah, it was a really good use of the instinct there. I mean, he got the he got the minion on the screen, and that's really what matters here. This is what makes Gargos shine as a character overall. Dead right into the shadow. A little bit of chip will do it. Man, his anti have been so clean, and the command grab, the hop and grab. It's a summon afterwards too. So good little spot for Rico, even though yeah, he might go down here. The minion gets hit. Loses one little bit of uh, life, but it's got two more hits left. And so Rico, pretty good spot, I think, all things considered. And I love on this stage, on the second health bar, it just starts pouring. Yeah, it's As soon as it hits second health bar, it just starts downpouring. Oh, minion dead just like that. And the lockout. Shadow available. This could be huge. Look at the damage on this. Oh, just at 48%. Oh, missed it. Yeah, usually you can punish that. Oh, chance. He was trying to stand light kick into the command grab, I think. The burst. Stabby is oh, on the Stabby. screen. Nice anti-air, Stabby. He's so skinny, he didn't get hit by the uh, shadow there, so pretty lucky for Rico. Oh, command grab again, man. He's landed so many of those. Yeah, his placement of those in the situations that he's landed them is really, really smart. Other minions out. Stabby not hit against. He's still alive. He's got one more HP. Oh, he hit from behind. Now the minions are out there at the sandwich. Ooh, oh, this man, is this really is... good defense despite everything on the screen here from base. Another anti-air there. And the link right into the ultra. Dude, Stabby was MVP. He was. He anti-aired. He hit her on the ground. He has, like, better fundamentals than a lot of players. He does. He anti-airs way more consistently. His anti-airs are good. His footsies are good. You really can't jump on him. I think Stabby could make it out of pools at Eva. He probably could. I'm pretty sure he yeah. could get a Chipotle card. <laughs> maybe not the bag. Yeah, he maybe not the bag. He get the card for sure, He get the card. Yeah, he get the card. That's for sure. So game one, Riku, even though it was kind of a bit of a scramble there. Riku relying on that standing heavy kick. That Actually, that pillar that goes to the top of the screen is just Gargos' standing heavy kick. It's like a really cool anti-air, upper body invincible. But Mira has a lot of these deep jump-ins. This is going to be a huge lockout. And huge damage, too, so far in this round. Man grab, jumps it, heavy, can't block. And immediate burst. Just does not want to see any more of that. 
Oh, oh nice. Sick. Command grab. He's going to get some of that gray health back. Rico's in big trouble here. Wake up buttons didn't work out there. Yeah, Chip will do it, so you got to be pretty careful. That's going to whiff and a punish. No, we didn't get a, a good punish on it. Just the whiff there and got the portal punch, so huge lead now for base. Oh, and that's it. These command grabs have been landing every time. Rico's going to try to get a summon here. I don't know if base can get a punish on Gargos, but he's definitely going to get a hit on that minion there. Wow, and his ender got him out of the way. The minion's trying to hit him there. Another command grab. Uh, you don't get damage out of it, but you get your life back and you get space. Get Oki. Shadow. And Ooh, he tried to grab, grab there, but that was throw invincible. Ooh, that's a big breaker right there. And that's also a big, if he counter breaks, I mean, Rico might be dead. It's pretty close. Yeah, there's such a crazy mind game involved with that linker there from Mira because it's really, it is do or die. She is one of the most high damage characters in this game. So you better think twice before you break that. And these hop command grabs have been so huge so far. Both minions out. Really good spot for Rico now. Caught him trying to hit Stabby. He did hit Stabby, but you know, got punished for it. Wow, tried to break. I like that attempt there because Rico could have gotten a safe counter breaker by shedding the Sone skin, but he ran out just at the last second there. Yeah. Unfortunate Stabby dies there too, and yeah, so does the big fella. Oh. The low side. Other side and a little smidge of life left for Rico here. Block correctly. Oh, instinct pop, and yeah, I don't know if he had the ability to miss out there. He didn't have much life left. He used so much. Yeah, with base having this amount of bar, this is actually chip territory for base, but he's not going to need it. He's not going to need it. Yeah, it could have been the shadow pillar, get the chip, or get whatever he wants to do. So pretty good spot. Base goes up 2-0, and I think the character switch is all he really needed to find some comfort here. Yeah, we've seen a lot of character variety, only between four players on this yeah. stage. So much character variety. Yeah, we've seen like six or seven characters at the least, or something ridiculous like that in four players' repertoire, which is really cool. Yeah, we're going to see the Omen here. I think this is what we were originally about to see, but Rico opted to go with Gargos here. Like I said before, these characters are really similar. They both kind of have like a mist, like shadow form, that kind of thing. They have like the fireballs having an obnoxious presence on the screen. They have the swooping projectiles. Right. A lot of air superiority stuff going on. Bats out. Especially before you have meter to shadow counter, Mira's pressure is very annoying to deal oh, with. Oh yeah, it's very plus on block. Um, it get, you get a lot of mind games off of it, chaining into itself. You get the command grab off of it. Nice a little battery in there. Yeah, it wasn't too long of a combo. I think he just wanted to take, you know, control a little one, build a little bit of bar, get the next interaction. Wow, slide caught the jump. Yeah, base. He's trying to jump out of this pressure a couple of times. Rico trying to keep it tight. I like that. That command grab was really fast. Yeah, that was a really, really smart command grab. It is throw immune, and it got him out of that shadow order setup. Oh, under it. Yeah, that's gonna be a punish. Medium that time. Rico thought it was the heavy. I think. Damage under, really good damage actually. Oh, beats the throw, beats it again, <laughs> oh and the heavy God. gets broken. Oh, lets him drop. Interesting, and the mix. What a mix up there from base. Rico not able to use his instinct this time around. Yeah, she has one of the gnarliest cross up buttons I can think of in a game, and her air dash is really fast. A big bait. This is huge damage. Oh, it could have been huge damage. He's going to get a setup off of that in the corner. Mirror's only about like plus four or so off of that. No anti from Rico, even with the instinct pop. That's just how deep that jump in hit. Yeah, Shadow's out again. Doesn't want to deal with the pressure. There's a lot of gray life up there for base, which, you know, you use for all your moves with Mira, your mediums, and your. Wow, that command grab anti is huge. The bite and again. And another one. It's going to be wall splat. Just takes the front throw. Get a setup here with the bats. Yeah, when your opponent is locked out, you never have to worry about them teching the throw. And Rico's been going for a lot of attempted throw techs in this set. Shadows out, gets the throw. Base is a huge lead here to try to eliminate Rico. Send him home with third. Shadow drill. There's no meter to shadow counter for Rico, so he's kind of stuck. Oh, what a break. And does base pop the instinct is the question here. He might wait for the next life bar. No, he pops. Shadow right through. Could it be the ultra? It should be. Man, nicely done there from base. Very smart awareness there. It's really kind of scary to go for Oki on characters in this game when they have instinct. Because like we were saying before, you just get the freeze frame. You get to pick the correct option based off of what you saw. And if anything, you're just getting the person to not do anything so that you don't have to deal with the baiting. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to deal with the freeze at all. Exactly. 
But uh, so that 2-1, I'm curious if it's going to be a character swap. Yeah, it looks like it. Who else on the list, right? Can we see something new? Something we haven't seen so far? Or? Shadow Jago is definitely a possibility. This is the character that Rico actually won the World Cup with. Yeah. So he's thinking about it. Fulgore? Hovering a couple of characters here. Did locks in on the Fulgore. Very interesting. Okay. This is the character you want Evo with. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, kind those are wild sentences, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the problem with Fulgore at the start of the match, he's going to be the... I don't know. Okay. Something going on here there. It looks like they're fixing it. Yeah, I don't know if they wanted to run back a different character decision there. Or yeah, I'm not there sure was like it was. Some kind of control scheme change. Some people change their controls based on what character they're playing, actually. Oh, that's true, too. I've seen yeah, that a couple of see. times. I'm going to think about it. Man, it's wild to see the Evo stage again. I feel like I was literally here last weekend. <laughs> yeah, man. Man, look at that crowd. What's up, everybody out there? Hopefully you're enjoying all of our KI action and everything else here at Evo this year. It's a pleasure to see you all out there. Hopefully you're vibing. KI main times. stage. Main stage at Evo. All even kinds after of all legends up here. Yeah. It first was a tournament 10 years ago at EVO, which is pretty wild to think about. It's insane. It makes me feel incredibly old. I can't believe it's actually the 10-year anniversary. We were saying it um, at Combo Breaker, and it was, I still can't believe it. Yeah. 20, 2013, this game was out. It was at EVO. You guys remember, it was here for a couple of years, and then after that, it's been at exhibitions, Combo Breaker, other events all over the place. So they're figuring out some stuff on the stage here, but hopefully everybody's been enjoying all the matches so far. Gonna lock this out and then see who's gonna make it into our grand finals up against Nikki, who's vibing in the crowd. He looks like he's having the time of his life. Yeah, I mean, he was doing the taunt. He was just chilling out, man. He was screaming on the stage. He's getting everybody hyped up. Yeah, which is always a good time. I mean, everybody here is, you know, is here to have a good time. Like, imagine if you're a KI player and they're like, hey, you want to play in a KI exhibition at EVO? You're like, dude, of course. Like, why not, right? Yeah, I saw Alex V walking around speaking of hyping up the crowd. He was yeah. going crazy at Combo Breaker the last time we saw him. Yeah, which is awesome. He was just going nuts. Yeah, the other thing I was going to mention about KI2 is like it was one of those games that was one of the first ones that I ever remember having rollback. Yeah, online and play has been good for forever. forever. Yeah. Man, look at that sea of gamers out there for EVO. That's the community stage. You can see straight back, which is all the way over there on the other side of the ballroom. This is all of the tournament setups. Everybody playing, walking around here on the show floor at EVO. These people don't even know we're watching them right now. Oh, these people do. What up? It's insane, dude. It is one of, I mean, this is actually the biggest fighting game tournament in the history of the world, numbers-wise. There was 11,000 people coming in and out of this building today. And the Street Fighter bracket's the biggest one, 7,000, which is the biggest That was bracket. Alex B. That was him right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he was, was partying. Him. He is a party animal. When you he see is, him, he's man. always having a good time. What up, everybody down there? Not Yo, the 0-2 shirt. Sure. It was close. No. Oh, shit. It was close, though. Man, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. He didn't get the Chipotle card. That's yeah, tragic. I hate to see it. Not the, not the miss on the Chipotle card. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get the burrito bowl, man. That's how it works. Or you could be a burrito gamer or whatever else you get. I'm a bowl enjoyer, though. I don't think the card judges. I think you could get whatever you want with it. That's true. Yeah, if you get the card and it says in parentheses you must get a burrito, you're like, oh. Oh, well. my God. Yeah. Yeah, you made it on in Losers, you don't get to choose. Yeah, we give you yeah. a random meal. <laughs> yeah. You don't even know what it is. You're like, what? It's like a carnitas bowl. You can't. Yeah, and you're like, I don't want carnitas. I want the El Pastor chicken. Yeah. What the? That would be really funny if you made it on in Losers, they gave you a card with a random order. Like, you have no choice. They're yeah. Just like, Here you go. It's like, like we're already up on the stage, though, maybe. I don't know. I thought I, I, thought I saw it. Maybe not. Maybe I'm misunderstanding. They're figuring some stuff out. In the meantime, hopefully you've been enjoying all the action all day. Today has been on the main stage as they did last year. All kinds of cool programming, interviews, uh, panels with all the developers. I saw Street Fighter was showing off costumes and stuff. I saw Tekken was talking about their data and everything. There was uh, arcs and stuff earlier today. All these developers have been up here all day long showing stuff off, which is really cool. We got the Uni 2 announcement today, which is really tight for those of you Uni fans out there, which myself included. Really yeah, that was insane. I was not expecting that at all. I think there's a Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2. Think, yeah, they too. are doing something here. Yeah, the developers. Yeah, I think I read that. Um, NASB. I mean, there's a Najd for King of Fighters. Yeah, that's true. There is Project L. 
Yeah, Mar and Mary MK1. for Skullgirls, MK1, Tekken 8. All yeah, I think stuff. for this build of MK1, I think Lee May is in it, and I also think that they added the dash blocking. I heard about that. I heard the movement super. I saw that. That's yeah. like the first thing that those players are going to pick up on, especially the ones that are going to go to EVO and they're going to check things out. I saw like all the tweets. Hell yeah. I, I don't know if I'm going to have time to go play it. <laughs> I know. I, I'm going to be, I'm usually behind the curtain working, so I'll have to see if I get the chance. Otherwise, I'll just check out the gameplay. What up, everybody? There's the crowd. Howdy, howdy, howdy. That guy was hype. I love that. He's screaming his head off. Look at all the gamers. What up, what up, what up? Hey, I recognize those gamers. Looks like we're good to go here. Locking in. Pick Thunder stage. Pick Thunder theme. Let's go. I don't know what, what theme. I is. love this Terror skin for full board. Yeah, that's a good one. This color scheme is so cool. Have you confessed your sins? Letting the intros rock. I think this is... Where are we at on the score here? Is this... Losers final. Losers final. Losers final. I think... Was Rico on the board with two? Uh, two on base. I need the two refresher. There we go. There two we one. Go. We're back at it here. Rico going for Oki here. Teleport in the front. Safe little pressure and check from base there. Yeah, punish. Nothing too big from Rico though. Just the jab. Charge up the blade dash. Wow, reversal bad. I like that. Ooh, nice, nice throw bait there from Rico, and he's uh, abusing the fact that base was not going for a shadow counter there at all. Nice, missed out, not trying to be in that corner. We jump in and gets the regular throw again. This is one thing that's kind of like the hallmark of Rico's Fulgore, I think. Nice. Wow, okay. I'm not sure what base tried to do there, but that was a super strong round. Like, his, his Fulgore has lots of resets, right? I think that's one of the things that he does more than anybody. Just like lots of throw resets. Never does long combos. Miss gets on. Mix up back to the front. This is a lot of damage, potentially. Oh, yeah, this is so much damage. And Rico is sitting on a lot of meter here, as well as his instinct. He's going to get Ants here. I think that the reason that he didn't do that is because he was worried about the miss. Exactly, yeah. Didn't want to risk it. Wow, Ants here gets stuffed. Chance now for Rico. Set up. Go in the front. Regular throw. Oh, tried it again. This time, base. Tex and uh, loses the position for Rico. Oh, my God. The mix. Goes for the medium, gets the life back with the ender here. And the reactor for Rico is completely slowed down, but he is setting at a full bar, and you see forward's meter segmented and it pips. It means that he can cancel his specials into specials, which makes him one of the deadliest zoning and mix-up characters in this game. Oh yeah, his mix-ups are better, zoning is better. Back dash, get out of the range of the throw. Oh no, tried to shadow counter. Missed, mix up back to the front. Oh my god, this is gonna hurt. Potential damage on this is huge. Like that, 50% on that hit. Pops wake instinct. jab again. Uh oh, air to air. Puts him in danger. Baits the throw. Regular throw again. Not enough, but chip. Oh my god, he got that command grab. Rico mistimed that meaty fireball there. Shadow on the other side. That was so no smart. Way to avoid it. Yeah, it's, it's a teleporting, tracking shadow. Terrifying. 2 2. We're at a game five here for these two. Yeah, we'll see. Character swap or no? It's possible. Have to see. Cycle back to character select here, at least think about it for a little bit. Does he go with Spinal, Cinder, or something else? Or back to the mirror, he does go with Spinal. Very interesting, okay. Oh yeah, this is a matchup that base has got to have a ton of experience with dealing yep. with Rico before, dealing with Nikki a ton of times. This is a matchup that I think that Fulgore can deal with quite well, but yeah. I think that where it's really difficult for Fulgore to deal with is the start of the match, because it's kind of hard for him to get into a comfortable spacing without Spinal running at him like oh, that. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> and that round starts, jab check, Skull, go for a little pressure after. This is, I think, classically one of the matchups Fulgore players find very annoying, right? Like, it can definitely be a, a, an annoying one for the character. Doesn't have the best way to deal with stuff, especially when his resources get locked out. Plus frames on that. So cancel into the low laser and uh, reset tick pressure base ready for the uh, throw there. Oh, oh the my god, such an early lockout there. He's gonna get to get some skulls from this level four skull ender. He's fully loaded here. A run cancel off the skull. Whip on the overhead gets him punished. Oh, it's gonna be huge. He's got the shadow here. Doesn't even need it. Damage ender. Doesn't even go for the damage. Doesn't even need that ender. Big lead here for base. Yeah, and he is going to put a curse on Rico's meter, which is going to make it tough for him to build. He just, you see that reactor spinning. He's going to be able to build up all kinds of pips here. Oh, yeah. And check on the dash from base. It's really good there, too. Charge up, late dash, catches him with the fireball into the laser again, and this is really close. Man, looks low. He has not done cross up, and he has not done overhead yet. Oh, and the regular throw. Bad news for Rico. Instinct pop for base. 
Oh, that's going to be plus because he charged that up. Yeah, this is terrifying. These skulls are going to be bouncing all over the screen here. He just it. caught that right in Rico's face. Recycling here. That's what we do. Got to keep it green. Uh-oh. He's two plus. The skulls both Oh, my hit. God. What a combo there. Base is so good at confirming those manuals off of that. I don't think this is going to kill. This actually is death right here. That'll do it. 56% on that combo. Base with a huge pickup. And gets his run back against Rico, who's going to go out here with third place our evo champions both of them out there you have it so we're gonna have our finals base versus nikki should be a good one i think yeah this is a very typical one and again this is just a question of what are the characters